weapons RAE deals with include surface to air from both land and sea, air to air, both attack and defense, and air to surface attack weapons for targets on land or sea and including bombs as well as guided weapons. Much of the intramural research on weapons is concerned with missile homing heads and guidance systems. The establishment is deeply involved with industry in this work. Particular attention has been paid to further development of the cluster concept. Both the type of submunitions carried and methods of deployment have required very careful consideration to meet new operational requirements. The problems of air-to-air -air combat are complex. Advanced systems are required to aid the pilot in target acquisition and to successfully achieve a kill. The first target should be appearing very soon. There is a delay between when I press the button up here to when you see the response in the dome. And it will be projected for 10 seconds. That's a correct call. A piloted combat simulation is used in which an image of an enemy aircraft is generated and maneuvered to represent a realistic engagement. For the design of the guided weapons themselves, as in other areas of research, mathematical modeling plays an important part. Literally thousands of weapons firings can be simulated in a short space of time. As well as helping to decide the best operational use of the weapon, simulations have a direct bearing on the planning of expensive but very necessary test firings. Does the display scope, storage display scope, give you a better view? Oh, I think it would. In fact, we can look at the, uh, look at the trace and work out the, the uh, variation of velocity of the missile. Hitting the right target with the right weapon system is what it's all about, of course. But what should the right system be? in, say, 5, 10, or even 20 years' time? The answer is not easy. Technology develops, threats change, priorities alter. But the future of air systems is RAE's business, and the essence of its collective function is to ensure that the right choices and decisions are made. To exemplify the establishment's role, Consider the problems and the technical options involved in just one area of operations. For the foreseeable future, there will continue to be a requirement for ground attack behind the enemy's front line of battle. Jaguar and Tornado handle it now, but what comes next? To find the right answers means asking the right questions. A few multi-role, large and complex, or many more, specialized, smaller, simpler. Sophisticated missiles, or less expensive, but perhaps less effective aerial weapons. Can one man cope with the demands of modern war? Or must we have two to retain some flexibility in the face of the unknown? Before the design process can start, there are many such issues which have a direct bearing on the most basic considerations of all up size and weight in relation to performance, range and weapons carried. Crucial factors are power to weight ratio and aerodynamics. Hanging several tons of bombs or missiles under an aircraft can dramatically alter its performance and flight characteristics. The effect is being very carefully considered in wind tunnel studies and in full-scale flight research. When the results of tests like these are combined with fully developed active control, then not only might aircraft handle more easily and have a better performance, they could look very different as well. <laughs>